Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Demetrios the Big Cynical Adventure. When we left off last time, we'd had dinner with Sandra, which was not really a lovely experience. It turns out she's just an absolutely hideous cook. She almost killed us, but we survived her terrible cooking. And we got another mysterious phone call. Now we've got to find a way. Well, what's our objective? First, we're going to check on Sandra. Oh, I forgot she hates this. I gotta ring the doorbell. Sorry, Sandra. Hello. Bjorn, you're quite the early bird today. I didn't expect you before lunch. Uh, thank you for not freaking out on me for knocking on the door. About lunch, uh, I found an escape from that, so... Sorry, I hope I didn't wake you up, but I couldn't wait. What's going on? I'm taking a plane. I'm going on vacation, and I need to be at the airport in two hours. Really? Where are you going? To a small exotic country called Nogo. Never heard of it. Me neither, but that's exciting, don't you think? She's not angry that we're bailing on our lunch plans? I have a few extra tickets, so if you're interested... Oh really, we're gonna take her and Caroline along. You could come with me? Pinch me, I'm not sure I'm awake yet. She's got an awesome job if she can just leave on the fly like that and it'll be okay. What do you say? You're taking me by surprise here. Let me think. Oh, she looks kind of pissed. Mmm. Er, maybe okay. Don't take all day, please. Well, I'm off for the whole week, so I guess it's possible. Oh. You know, she, did she mention something about that before? I think she did, and I'm just forgetful. Well, works out. Great. But on one condition. I can't just leave Caroline here on her own. She'd have to come with us. Ugh. Yes, you're right, unfortunately. Well, you do have a couple extra tickets, so you can swing it, Bjorn. But she's already gone to play outside, and I have no idea where she went. Would you bring her back? I'm getting tired of looking for her. You're her mom, Sandra. That's your job. <laughs> ah. So, to the airport in two hours. That doesn't leave much time to pack our stuff. Go ahead, I'll be back right after I find your daughter. Thanks for accepting. It would be hard to refuse, considering your offering. Or probably considering your offering. I think she's, she, she possibly fancies him. It's quite probable. Can't wait to leave the city for some fresh air, even for just a week. Well, you don't know anything about Nogo, though. We might be leaving this city just to go to another city. Right. Well, I'd better go. See you later. Okay, where do we think that little munchkin went? Well, she does like to hang out in front of my store. Hmm. Ooh, ice cream vendor has given up. Uh, well, you know, we did crash his cart. We don't know the extent of the damage. Is she in here? Maybe she's upstairs petting the cat. Hmm? I heard a noise, but I don't see anything. She's not in the sarcophagus, is she? Ah, <laughs> uh, ta-da! Ah, there you are. Great, I found you. Come with me. <laughs> We're going on... Hey, stop! Don't go! Damn it, she left the store. As if I have time to play hide and seek. Where am I going to find her now? I hate little girls. Alright, where do we think she went? Um, shake the tree. Obviously, Caroline isn't in the same spot as yesterday. Guess I'll have to look elsewhere. Does she know how to get in... Mm, there's options here. She can't get in the gutter, can she? I don't see Caroline down in the sewers. This is an excuse to make me go down the sewers. Yeah. No way. I'm not looking for her down there. Probably for the best. Maybe she's... Did she climb the pipe? Caroline is thin, but hiding behind that pipe? Seriously? No, no, I think she shimmied up at Bjorn. No? Is she in the pharmacy? <laughs> the logo of a sect of merchants selling drugs to innocent people. More or less. She could be in this alleyway, except we can't click on it, so probably not. No, we can't interact with this door either. Now she's gotta be... She's gotta be gone entirely. Alright. We have here and we have home. Maybe she's messing around in the lobby... Or, not the lobby, but like the elevator area. No sign of Caroline in the elevator shaft. Too bad, I would've pressed the button. Oh, Bjorn. Maybe she's in our- is she in our house? I don't know if she fit, but Caroline's not in the wardrobe. Closet? Ah, <laughs> uh, I hear you laughing. 
in the bag of mysteries. That bag is really mysterious. Let's have a look-see. Nope. And the curtain. Surprise! Ah, we found ya. What the heck? What are you doing in my apartment? I followed you, Gramps. You're so dumb. Don't call me that. I found you, didn't I? Anyway, your mother and I are going on a trip together to a foreign country. We're leaving in two hours. Are you kidding me? Nope. And you know what? I invited you to because I was forced to. Forget it. I'm not going. <laughs> yes, you will. With a kick in the butt if you keep... Oh, no. Not again. She's run away. God, I hate her so much. Quick. I don't think she's left the apartment. She must still be around here somewhere. Is she in our filthy, filthy bathroom? Let's try it. Oops. I don't hear a giggling. Ah, no need to touch it. There's not enough space for Caroline to hide here. Alright. She must be in the bedroom then. Unless she's in the cupboard. No, Caroline. Nope. In the coffin? <laughs> Boo! Ah! Are you crazy? You scared the hell out of me. That was the whole point, Gramps. <laughs> well, this time... Oh, no, you don't. Come back here. Ouch! Stop pulling my ear. It hurts. No way. I'm bringing you back to your mother. All right. Sorry. I was just playing. You're so mean. <laughs> but now we can go on our vacation. Here, take this annoying thing. I mean, your daughter. <laughs> ah, finally. Caroline. Guess what? We're going on vacation. I don't care. I don't want to go. It stinks. Come on, you'll love it. I'll buy you toys. I don't give a crap about toys. Got more than enough games on my smartphone. Well, then she's nothing like my kids. You could always bribe them with toys. Hmm, then how about I let you use my credit card? Your credit card, Sandra. You would? Only if you come and you're good. Awesome. I'll finally be able to buy new levels for Angry Turd. Alright, Mom. I'll come. I've packed a suitcase. I left some room. Fill it with whatever you want. Yeah, I'll do that. Thanks, Mom. Such a sweetheart, when you rub her the right way. I know. Anyway, I've never visited a foreign country, and today you pop in and suggest it. By the way, are you going there for business? Well, pretty well, yeah. Yeah. Yes and no. It's a long story. I'll explain on the plane. I hope Nogo isn't a dangerous country. You know, I didn't even research it, Sandra. Didn't think to look this up. We're just going because we gotta trace this this big mystery going on. So, yeah, I hope it's not dangerous either. Not at all. Don't worry, it'll be fun. Actually, I have no freaking idea if that's true. Not much time left. How are you doing, Caroline? All done, Mom. Great, sweetheart. Then we're ready to go. Are you gonna double check what she packed? She is only eight after all. You wanna make sure she actually packed useful things and that she'll have clothes when we get there all right goodbye Paris Schmeris crash airlines that makes you feel safe <laughs> a perfect takeoff oh I can't wait to arrive by the way, I've booked two rooms in a really charming hotel. One for you and me, the other for Caroline. You really think that's how it's gonna go, Bjorn? Think again. Mom, I'm bored. Can I unfasten my seatbelt? It's definitely gonna end up Caroline staying with her mother. You're not gonna be able to convince it. Well, I don't know. She might want to be in her own hotel room. S mm, depends. She does like to sabotage us, so probably not. Alright, honey, but stay close. She's gonna run all over this plane. This was such a great idea, Bjorn. Thanks again. No problem. I had spare tickets, so... Do you often go visit foreign countries to find antiques? Well, kind of. We got the statue from Egypt, right? Yeah, that never happens. Usually clients come to the store to sell trinkets. Oh, really? Anyway, I'm sure we'll have fun. Or maybe not. Huh? What do you mean? Actually, a lot has happened during the last two days. And he said to come to Nogo with the tablet. Shouldn't we have let her know about this before we brought her along with us? And we're taking her and her daughter into a potentially dangerous situation? Ah, don't worry about it. Now you know everything. Aside from my thoughts on your cooking, I skipped that part. 
What a story. A bit hard to believe, actually. But it's true, all of it. If you say so. But in that case, I would have appreciated you telling me all this before I made my decision. Yeah, she's she's right to be kind of angry with us here, Bjorn. I didn't have time, with Caroline hiding and everything. Can I see the tablet? Sure, here it is. But be careful with it. Of course. The archaeologist said I should watch over it like my life depended on it. It's so pretty. She dropped it. She dropped it. You better not have broke it, Sandra. Whoops. Slipped out of my hands. Ugh. Look, don't worry. It's still in one piece. Give it back and you don't get to touch it anymore. Whew. I could already see myself on a quest for glue. Caroline, stop moving like that and don't look through the porthole. You'll get sick. And that's the whole point of being on a plane is looking out the window. It's beautiful. Mom, I don't feel very well. It's got barf bags, right? Oh no, I warned you. Come here, I'll get you an air sick bag. There you go. Mom, can't hold. Oh, Bjorn, watch out! Don't throw up. Oh! What? Oh! Oh, we're coated, aren't we? Ugh, I feel much better. Thank you, Mom. Oh no, Bjorn, she got everything on your beautiful pullover. Oh, ugh. Oh. I can't believe this. I'll go wash myself. You gotta... You, you gotta take it off. You gotta switch your shirt somehow. Oh, the smell. Vomit's the worst. Hurry up, we're almost at no-go. And it's starting to stink. <laughs> oh, well, it's a... Just a bustling hubbub of activity here, huh? Ooh, I'm glad to finally be here. Me too. I was getting sick of washing myself. And I'm tired of carrying all your stuff. Did you really have to bring sacks and cardboard boxes? I told you, I only have one suitcase and all our stuff wouldn't fit, so I had no choice. Where's yours, by the way? My suitcase? Oh, crap. With all that happened, I totally forgot to repair one. Bjorn, now you're stuck in vomit shirt. Oh no, that's terrible. <laughs> You'll smell for the whole trip. Thanks, Caroline. Whose fault is that? Stop it, you two. Bjorn, if you need anything, just tell me, okay? Just realized I forgot my phone, too. I hope I won't need it. Uh, Bjorn, how did you... <sighs> how did you forget your phone? How are we going to contact this guy? Oh, this is terrible lack of planning here. So you've got room 201. Me and Caroline will take 202. Uh-huh. Well, actually... Thanks, Mom. I'll go check it out. Ah, too late. Damn you, Caroline. See you later, Bjorn. I'm tired. Guess I'd better go to my room, too. Now, first we should look around. What do we got here? For a second, I thought I could offer one to Sandra. But then I remembered she's right next door. She'd notice where it came from. <laughs> she might still appreciate the gesture. I don't want to seem stupid. Um, good luck with that. Uh, umbrella's here as well. I have a weird sense of deja vu here. Is it the umbrella, the hallway, or Sandra living next door? Maybe I never left Paris. Maybe I'm just in an alternate reality. Yeah, makes sense. A little thing to remind us we're in an exotic country. From the look of the hotel, I thought I didn't leave Paris, but I don't mind, really. What's this switch here? Oh, is that a doorbell for Sandra? Is that a light switch or a doorbell? Press it. Neither, apparently. Huh. I can't stand these old clocks. They're ugly as hell and the ticking sounds give me shivers. What, you don't find it kind of soothing? A steady ticking in the background? I know, I know, I sell antiques. That doesn't mean I like what I sell. Aw, oh, old, old clocks are cool, Bjorn. Plants are a little dried up. Maybe I should water them. With water, of course. Yeah, don't, don't pee on them. This isn't the police station. I don't know who's in there. I probably shouldn't bother the other guests. At least, not yet. But eventually, other guests. I will heckle you. Who knows? Maybe someone I know is here. No reply. Disappointing. Alright, Sandra's room, our room. But we can also go downstairs. Well, let's talk to Sandra. See if she's got anything to say. Hey, how are you doing? It's going to take a while to unpack all our things. No wonder. My back still aches from carrying all your stuff. 
I'm sorry, I didn't realize I had taken so much. I'm not used to going on trips, you know. You didn't have to tell me. Peasants rarely travel out of their village. Oh, so scornful. Take your time. Meanwhile, I'll look around the area. Later. Well, I do want to check out our room, but... I'm worried if we do, I'll get stuck there, because he said he was tired. Let's go downstairs. Flute contest. Ooh. Mandatory attendance penalty of death. I'm getting bored with this music. Actually, I don't mind it, but... How do I change it? I don't see any buttons. Just kick it. Kick the jukebox? Are you serious? Yes, it's an old model, and it's the only way i found to make the disc pop. Like that? See? It works! <laughs> it sure does. <gasps> cookie! I still don't know what that thing is, but there's definitely a cookie underneath it. Oh yeah, what is this? Th it looks like a tongue. That's a thing, for sure. But what is it exactly? It's cold to the touch on one side, but hot on the other side. Huh? And do you know Bjorn, we are lax on cookie duty. I forgot to look for any cookies up here. Oh, there's one. For some reason, it seems like I often find cookies on clocks. I think we got another here. The cookie is still dry. That umbrella mustn't be used often. And then there should be one more. Uh, oh, here we go, I think. Come on, it looks like there's a cookie. Vaguely. Here. No, I think it's just a leaf. Alright. Ah! I thought that was a flower petal, but it's a cookie! Finally, a restaurant with real knives, well sharpened. Ooh, what kind of appetizers? Some pastry rolls with sausage chunks inside. Looks tasty. I'll take some. I'll keep them as a snack in case I'm hungry. Sounds like a fair plan. Hmm, no one's looking. Perfect. Excellent. It's empty, but I have a feeling it could be useful. Well, if we get some water in it, we could water the plants. Don't touch that bottle, please. Alright, why not? It's, it's set so temptingly on the counter. Why? Did you pee in it, too? How gross! He's not Tom. No, it's just too precious to waste. But what is it? Ah, a great selection of alcohol. Heaven on Earth. Hmm, some of these bottles look weird, though. Ah, you gotta try new things, Bjorn. Although that one's a bucket. What's that box? I put that there for guests to write a few nice words about the hotel. But it's empty? Yes, unfortunately. Would you like to write a message? I don't know. The box is empty right now. So? I wouldn't know what to say or how to do it. At least not until someone else does. You see the logo on that box? That's a vicious cycle. I drew that after noticing everyone reacted the same way. Hmm, and we could head right out. Okay, we gotta talk to these guys though, and... Get that cookie? I'll try not to cut myself while I grab this cookie. Because we don't want a blood cookie, right? He'd still eat it. <laughs> I don't think so. Doesn't want to take this bottle, eh? That guy scares me. Who knows what he'd do with that knife if I took the bottle? Well, let's ask him. Uh, hello? Sorry? Can I talk to you? Nope. Alright, we'll just leave him be. Where's my last cookie? I did off-screen just because I really enjoy this cookie hunt. Found all of the other cookies. I, I loaded an older save and um, got all the cookies because uh, Hector's house was a problem. I wasn't sure I'd be able to go back to it after the police got him. So I have found every cookie thus far, I think, on all the screens. Other than we've got one more to find here, and then I think um, there was one that we accidentally ate earlier. Uh, when I loaded my previous save, it took away the ones we ate to get the hint for. So, I know, I'm a cookie completionist, but that's why 
in case you're wondering, like, her cookie count's different. Yeah, that's what happened there. Okay, um, I don't want to take too much time just looking and looking for this cookie, because it's probably boring for you watching. So I can just scour the screen on my own time and find it. Alright, let's chat with this fella. Good afternoon, sir. Are you pleased with your rooms? Um, probably? Yes, pretty much. It'd be better if I could have been in the same room as Sandra. You haven't paid for your rooms yet. Alright, how much will it be? So, two rooms for a week. 10,000 Nogoyans. What is... what's a Nogo Nogoyan? I'm kind of short on Nogoyans currently. Do you take Euros? Sorry, I wouldn't have any use for Euros. Oh, we're gonna have to go get our money changed. No wonder there aren't more clients here. Can we pay on the last day? By then I should have had time to exchange some money. That sounds... He's really nice if he lets us do that. That's risky for him, because what if on the last day we just scoot out and stick him with the bill? I mean, fine, but I'm keeping an eye on you. If you leave without paying, don't worry, we'll pay. I do intend to pay, but I don't know if Bjorn does. I'd rather not think about what they do to us if we don't pay. This is That's a fair worry, considering if you don't go to the flute contest, they kill you, so... Oh, we've got so many things to talk about. Um, tell me about Nogo. Can you tell me anything about Nogo? Don't tell me you came here without doing any research first. That is exactly what happened, yes. Mmm. Typical. You foreigners assume all exotic countries are tourist traps. Nogo isn't? Nogo's a bit more complex. How so? By the way, what's the name of this city? You know it already. Nogo. This, okay, it's named after the and the country share a name. So this is the capital of the country with the same name? Nogo is a very small country. Nogo the city covers all of Nogo the country. Really? I see. It's a bit like Monaco or Andorra. Not real countries. Bjorn. <laughs> a bit of advice. If you want to stay alive around here, you'll avoid saying things like that. Uh, tell me more about Nogo. How come I've never heard about Nogo? We're not really big on tourism. Which is also easy to explain. There's nothing much of interest here. Oh, that can't be right. You've got a museum. And that's pretty much it. Now I understand why our plane had to land in the desert and why the airport was a hut. Ooh, more about Nogo. What kind of government do you have? What's a government? You don't know that word? I mean, who is leading this country? You have to have some sort of infrastructure. Leading? No one is leading here. What? No democracy, no monarchy, no dictator? You're using words I don't know. More like an anarchy, then. Beginning to understand why I've never heard of this place before. No one would want to promote it. Okay, looks like we are done with no-go. Uh, tell me about your hotel. Thanks again for accepting such a late booking. No problem, I have plenty of open rooms. Yeah, I've noticed, there don't seem to be a lot of people. Is it always like that? Pretty much. And yet, there aren't that many rooms? About ten. Great, this doesn't seem to be a very touristy place after all. Well, he said. Maybe you should check what your competitors are doing to attract more people. Does he have competitors? What competitors? The other hotels? This hotel is number one. And by that, I mean it's the only one in no-go. Really? No other hotels? What would be the point of building another? This one's never full. Crap, I've ended up in no man's land. Well, how many of you are there? I don't get it. Your staff, how many people manage this hotel? Why, there's only me. <laughs> don't tell me hotels are managed by several people in your country. Depends on the hotel. Uh, yes? So funny. Haha. <laughs> So wait, you do all of the cleaning and all of the room service and, well, assuming there is room service and everything all yourself? It's kind of a lot of work, really. So let me summarize. Only one hotel in no-go with only ten rooms and only one manager. What's wrong with that? I'm speechless. Can it get worse than this? Man, I miss civilization already. You're such a city boy, Bjorn. Well, let's get a drink. I'd like something to drink. Finally. Take this. A glass? But you didn't ask me what I want. Just drink it. Alright. Hey, that's really good. What is it? I can't tell you. Oh, come on. What? Why? 
Does a magician reveal his secrets? You're right, but can I at least know if there's alcohol in this? I can't tell you. But how do I know if... Uh, I need to know if I'm going to get drunk if I drink a bunch of them or not. Come on. But you owe me a hundred Nogoyans. Mm, can you put that on my tab? <sighs> Alright. Thank you. Uh, let's have another. Can I get another glass of that special mixture you gave me? Not until you pay your tab first. Oh, come on. It's delicious. And that's the reason why I won't. You owe me tons of money already. Fair point. Darn. Alright, I think we're good. See you later. I just realized. I don't have a map of Noko, and I have no idea where to go. Well, it's only once. Well, I guess some cities are pretty big, so. Before getting lost, maybe I should ask for a map. Alright, do you happen to have one? What can I do for you? Do you have a map of Noko? With locations indicated? Well, yeah. No, a map with nothing on it. Of course, with the locations. I should have one like that somewhere. There you go. You're lucky. That's the last one. Great. Can I have it? Of course. And then I'll put it in a beautiful bag. Is he making fun of me? Don't tell me I've got to pay for it. You foreigners, expecting everything to be free. Tss. That'll be 500 Nogoyans. I told you I don't have Nogoyans. And I can't give it to you. I have an idea. Do you take credit cards? What a coincidence. Oh? Someone else asked me that yesterday, and the answer is still no. Oh, come on, man. Ah. But I may have a solution. Alright, let's hear it. A, a snake? A snake and a bug and... A very annoying client asked for a snack. Usually people come here directly to order something, but they called me on the phone. And they asked me to deliver it to their room. Can you believe it? Uh... Yeah, where do they think they are? In a hotel? Anyway, if you bring this to room 204, I'll give you the map. Deal. Hurry up, then. Alright, then. Let's also take this opportunity to check out my own room. Oh, what's this? Awesome, I found something. Er, wait, I'm stupid. These are my airline tickets in the tablet. I hid them here so I wouldn't have to walk around with them. They're too precious. This is not a good hiding spot, Bjorn. So, what's in these drawers? Hmm, some dust, a few dead cockroaches, used tissue. What, not even a few chips or some used chewing gum? What a disappointment. Ah, oh, don't worry, we're sure to find cookies around here somewhere. Cool, there should be things to visit around here. Let's see. Come see the amazing Toothless Travis in his new show. I have an abscess in my tongue. Entry price, 500 Nagoyans. This sucks. Did I really travel all this way to see a toothless tramp? No, you traveled all this way to investigate the tablet. Sorry, there's nothing else fun to do as you do that, Bjorn. There are hundreds of them in the Paris subway, and seeing them is free. I can see a creepy old man surrounded by trash bags and a few goats. Some of them are dead. Nice view! <laughs> oh! A cookie is stuck on the sock? It stinks, but I don't care. I know you don't care, Bjorn. No cookie is too gross for you. A sock, and it's not mine. Why did I feel the need to scream that? Well, whose is it then? Oh, newspaper. That newspaper is stuck. What's it about? Get rich quick. Become a game developer and make an awesome adventure game. Yeah, right. As if you could make a living creating stupid games. Ah. Ooh, wardrobe. I bet there's a dead body in there. Well, crack her open. Let's see. Nope. There's nothing. Nothing at all. Hotels suck. Why even have a wardrobe if they don't put anything in it? Towel? Of course I'll take it, but not till the last day. Otherwise they'd notice it's missing. Sure, I'm a thief, but I'm not stupid. Mostly. No, I have to give him credit. He comes up with some pretty good schemes. Oop, cookie. There's often good stuff under the carpet. Really? That's not a place I generally check for things, but I'll believe you, Bjorn. Ew, there's something hideous in the mirror. On closer inspection, nothing to be scared of. That's just me. The mirror's a bit wonky. How's the tap do? Oh, it's terrible. Wow, I can't open the faucet any more than this. They're probably running out of water. This is even worse than I thought. Why, oh why, did I come to this awful country? 
Well, let's turn it off. Let's not waste what we've got. That's a single-use cup. Better save it until I need it. Screwdriver, though. This might be useful. I guess the gas must have left it. It's better off in my hands. It'd be a little hard to put that in my pocket. Oh, I just noticed that my first thought about the candlestick was to steal it. Interesting. What is this? Is this a, a spoon? Reaching out a hand? Or No, I'm... I, I, I see that. I think it's like some sort of figure. No, that's like a satellite dish, isn't it? I don't get it. Where's the handle to open this window? Oh, Bjorn. Ooh, I get it now. This is no window. It's a painting. I always fall for these optical illusions. It's so tricky. Sugar bowl. Oh, a sugar bowl. Is that a number one on it? Does that mean there's a number two? Where is it? The curiosity is killing me. Maybe they're numbered by the room that they're in. Everyone gets only one bowl. A fireplace in a hotel room? Very rustic. I like it. And with real wood. But, where's our last... Oh, there's the cookie. This cookie's a bit crushed, but it must be still edible. All right, I think we are good in here. Let's go deliver this snack. Oh, look at our awesome tiger rug. Yeah. Huh? What have I just stepped into? Ew. Bjorn, be careful. Caroline ate something weird while I had my back turned and she's vomited. Oh my god. Non-stop with her. Again? And right here on my door? Yes, I'm really sorry. That girl. Where is she? so I can teach her a well-deserved lesson. She went downstairs to play outside. Great, now my shoes are all sticky. Man, what did she eat? Glue? Anyway, I'm not finished unpacking our stuff. See you later. Ew, vile. Ew, gross. Better not step on it again. It's all sticky like glue. Oh, yes? Hey! Good afternoon, mister. I'm bringing you the snack you've ordered. No, this is... Henry or... Henri or however you say it. This is this is the guy we bought the statue from. Ow. Yes. Very well. Ow. Put it next to my bed. You know, it's weird, but I can swear I know you from somewhere. Yeah, we do. Oh, I don't know? Yes, I remember now. You're the client who sold me that statue. Oh, what statue? Don't you play dumb with me. The bird statue, don't you remember? I'm the antique seller from Paris. Oh, now that you mention it. Yes, what a coincidence. I called you recently, do you remember? But you don't look so well. Yeah, your color's kind of weird here, buddy. Anyway, that's none of my business. Bye. Ow, please don't go. I've got some important things to tell you. What's with all the owls? Are you stabbed in the back or something? All right, I'm all ears. My wife and I decided to take a trip to Nogo. We love exotic countries, and someone suggested we come here. This morning, we went hiking across the nearby plain. I noticed a wonderful specimen of Neptunian Millie. You know, that rare flower? Um, sure. Never heard about it, and I don't care. Oh, I lowered my hand to pick it up. <gasps> oh, bit by a snake. Dude, go to a hospital or something. When suddenly, ow, out of the blue, a venomous snake appeared from the brush couldn't react and, oh, it's poisoned me. Ow. Fortunately, my wife helped me back to the hotel. That's terrible. Did you call a doctor? Oh yes, of course. We managed to find one. And... In short, he said he couldn't do anything. That I'd need the services of a sorcerer. <laughs> oh, wonderful. So, so what, are you just waiting to die here? I knew general practitioners were incompetent, but not that incompetent. Well, we could ask Sandra. She works at a hospital. Can't you go to the hospital? Oh, there's no hospital in Nogo. The closest one is more than 50 miles away. Well, if you were bit by a poisonous snake, it's it's worth the trip, don't you think? I could never get there in time. Oh, I'd still try. Please, oh, I'm begging you. You've got to help me. What do you want me to do? Where's your wife, by the way? Oh, she's trying to find another doctor, but I know it's pointless. My wife doesn't want me to see the sorcerer. Oh, and I can barely move. Ow. 
listen, I'm a very rich man. If you can save me, I'll give you all the money you want. Ooh, will you pay for my stay? You would? Oh, yes, but please, you've got to help me. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Can you be more precise? When you say all the money you want, how much exactly? Ah, I'm feeling weak. Hard to concentrate. My vision is blurring. Obviously. All right, I'll help, but what should I do exactly? Ugh, go see the sorcerer. He lives in an underground bar. Here's the address. Ooh. All right, I'll see what I can do. Oh, please hurry. I feel like I'm gonna... Um, yeah. He just collapsed. Great. Better leave him. His wife should be back pretty soon. Let's find that sorcerer, then. And we're just gonna keep the snack? Do we have it? It's not done here. Up here? Hmm? Let's see if Sandra has anything to say about him. Come on, you work at the hospital. Can't you help this guy? You're a nurse. Say, by any chance, do you have a map? A map? What kind? The kind that shows you where to go, Sandra. I'd like to start exploring, but without a map, I'm afraid I'll get lost. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. You invited me, so last minute, I didn't have time to buy one. Could we have even found a map of no-go, though? Really? True. Thanks, anyway. No, we... Piran, you gotta tell her about our dying guy. Alright. Well, we've got some things to do now. Hmm, I could try going for a walk without a map? Let's try to stay nearby. Well, it is tempting. Too scared. First, let's talk to this... I tried to... There you go. I delivered the snack. Can I have the map now? Alright, here, take this. Hmm, that's good, but it's still not very clear to me. Can you mark some interesting locations around here? Well, that's easy. There aren't many. The National Museum is right here. Hey, hey. Then you've got a not-too-awful site here, the old excavations. Finally, you should check out the big no-go bazaar there. How big is it? I hope I don't get lost in it. Ha! <laughs> no chance. Big is the name of the merchant. <laughs> cool, thank you. That should be enough to start. To start? How long are you staying here, anyway? A week. One week. Poor guy. Not a lot of hometown pride, huh, buddy? Alright, we have got all kinds of options here. Where are we going to find Caroline, though? Hmm. And where are we going to find the source? Well, he's in the underground bar. Should we... Yeah, let's try and help our poor dying buddy. Weird. This can't really be the same woman just going around in circles, can it? Could be. Hmm. Alright, what do we got here? A card? No one's watching me? Perfect. No-go underground bar. VIP member. Terroristoprint.com. Nice. This looks like the guard. They're pretty well organized for a clandestine bar. Alright, what else we got here? Anything? Oh, there's a cookie. Ouch! Ugh, my hand is bleeding. Who would have thought collecting cookies could be so dangerous? All right, where are the other cookies now? Oh, there's one. A cookie on a curtain? Why not? Okay, we can worry about the last one. Later. Let's talk to this fella. Well, actually, let's look at our sign. Wait, is this a bar or a nursery? Stop. Show me little card. A card? You mean a membership card? Yes, little card. Well, I happen to have one. So, what does that membership card look like? Is a little card? Um, okay, but what's on it? What are the colors? It's a red card. Wow, you're incredibly helpful. Uh, it's right here. There. Here's my little card. Oh, little card. Real one. Pass. Awesome. Bye. Wait. Is my little card? Yeah. 
Thief. No, we just have similar faces, don't you think? Yeah. Ouch. Nope, he's not falling for that. Oh, my head. I'm still alive? You hit me so hard I thought my skull broke. Mostly I'm just excited we didn't die because we... <laughs> a lot of things kill you, so hey. Hey, I still have his card. I'm lucky, stupid. Hmm. But how are we going to get in there? We're going to have to find some way to trick him. Alright, well, we can worry about it a little later. We've got some other things to take a look at, too. Uh, was it the old excavation? <laughs> take a vacation. Visit Paris. Enough with the ads. Sign this petition. This is cruel. Why did I come here when I could have just had a vacation in Paris? What's with this awful non-advertisement? I love ads! You get three things for a piece of your mind. Now what's going on with this pyramid? That's a pyramid? I can't pin it down, but something seems off. Seems like no one's here. Good. No, it seems like someone's dead here, Bjorn. What the? Tomato sauce on the floor. I bet a tourist lives here. People around here are starving, and they're just wasting food. Bjorn. Oh, my bad. This is blood. That's fine, then. <laughs> there are holes? Maybe bullet holes? Not very interesting. How is it not interesting? There is a dead body here, Bjorn. He doesn't care. Treasure Hunting and Killing by Drathen Naked. I have mixed feelings about this. I love treasure, but I don't like violence. Ooh, hooks. I'll take one of these. They don't seem to be magnetic like Tom's. What a shame. What else we got in here, though? Camera? I could take a picture. There's no way I could print it, unfortunately. I miss my old Polaroid... No, Polaroid camera. What's in this bag? Some clothes. More stupid clothes. And even more clothes. Totally boring. Actually, considering our clothes are vomited on and we don't have spares, this could be a good thing, Bjorn. He's just gonna leave it. Uh, I really wanted it. We should take a look and see who this is, but... Oh. A bra? Hmm, this has a nice scent to it. That's creepy. No doubt this belongs to a woman. Okay, we've got a pond, we've got a hole. Ooh! Cool, there's a cookie stuck here. Must be a free sample. This is quite tall. Look at that giant dome. I get it, this must be a giant ice cream cone. Which makes about as much sense as a lighthouse, considering there's no lake or anything around here. Hey you, come here. Those lizards are quick little fellas. It's near impossible to capture one. Maybe we can pin it under the glass. We'll have to try again later. Uh, let's go to the pond first. There's fish in this water. Well, if you can call it water. And if you can call them fish, too. They look weird and mean. But, you know, we did just get a hook. And we've got a string. I'll attach this hook to the end of the string. Oh, yeah. Now, will that be enough to fish with? Uh, seriously? Even prehistoric men can fish better than that. Alright, we'll need to find something to use as a pole. Plant with red flowers. Very pretty. Blue flowers. Just your average plant with blue flowers. Why am I even looking at it? Because we can. Looks like that is it for the pond. Let's look at this hole. Wow, what a hole. Was this an excavation site, or were they looking for oil? Well, yeah, let's go down there. What? No, I don't want to go down there. Oh, come on. I should know by now. Every time I have a choice like that, it ends badly. No, get down there. I really have no idea why I'm doing this. But I admit I'm curious to see what's down there. Here we go. Ouch, my hands! Really not used to climbing a rope. Yeah, easy. I made it to the bottom. Getting out's gonna be the trick. Well, I don't see anything interesting. That's a shame. But at least 
Everything is fine this time. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, lesson learned. Don't go down the hole. 200 years later, archaeologists got confused as they found a, a more recent skeleton at the site. Said they threw it away. <laughs> I knew it. Why am I so stupid today? Oh, and the rope is gone now, too. Well, no more messing around with that. Giant ice cream cone. Yes, this is totally an ice cream. A giant coconut ice cream cone. Yummy. I mean, vanilla ice cream. Hmm. Oh, and there's that lizard. Let's try it. Let's try. Ah, too bad. Now we know why the dinosaurs went extinct, but not them. Ooh, we could maybe lure him with appetizers? Come here. Oh, hey, hey. A cookie in the grass. Nothing unusual. And somewhere around here has got to be one more cookie. Alright, let's check out the bazaar. Hmm. Authentic crap. <laughs> That's, uh, or I can't even say. What a horror. That stinks. I wouldn't take it even if I was paid to. By any chance, would you pay me to take this? Yes, pay. Please buy it. Great stuff. I guess not. Why would I want that? It sucks. Rubbish. Oh my gosh, that thing is horrible. Trash. That's junk, I'm telling you. Junk everywhere. Maybe I should teach some sales techniques to that merchant. Lesson number one. Sell attractive items, not crap. Wreck. Yuck. Ugliness. Another useless doodah. I'm a bob. I want that. It smells like goat piss. Don't want that. <laughs> I swear, it looks like the merchant took a poo on it. Gadget? I wouldn't even want to be buried with it. No way, I've already got enough junk in my store and at home. Horrendous. It makes me want to puke. Alright, we've had enough to do with puke lately, Bjorn. Gadget? Authentic crap. And would soil my inventory. That's a. can't even say. All right, we do. We want nothing that he saw. Oh, we want this cookie though. Is that what I think it is? Yes, a cookie. <laughs> Postcards. You just got screwed. Sand, Taurus, Rena. It's a butt. Uh, what's this say? Some kind of cat. Flattened cat. Oh. Some sort of heart. Nope, I don't have anyone to send a postcard to. No friends that I can think of, and I hate my family. Even if I bought one, it would probably arrive after I got back. Hey, what's with the sad tune? <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> what does that say? Sucker ball? Maybe cocker ballet? That poor snake looks thirsty. I'll turn the tap on for it. It might bite you. Oh. Whoops. I ran away. Typical. Everyone says I'm selfish, but when I do help, everyone runs away. Weird. When I look inside, it's empty, but I can't move it an inch. Must be some black magic. Or a trick. Some sheep back here. What a skinny sheep. I wonder how it's still alive. Too bad, I was kind of hungry for some meat. Man, I miss meat so much. Steaks, sausages, bacon, ham, frog legs, pig heads, toad spittle, anything. Maybe we should go ahead and talk to this fella. Hey, master. Master? Come check my staff. You mean stuff. Well, what you got? Now that's what I call a bazaar. It's a real mess here. Indeed. Is everything interesting you? More like nothing. Do you have anything useful and not too costly? 
Of course, how about this incredible square eggs making machine? You call that useful? I see. Then maybe this bedding ring? A wedding ring? Not a bad idea, but it's a bit too early for that. To be honest, I'm not sure I'd ever want to marry Sandra. Caroline ruins everything. Oh, Bjorn. In that case, please take a good lake and let me know. Uh, more about this stuff? Take this wonderful iron. Only 200 Nogoyans. For this prize, it can iron, clean, heat up, lubricate, and even make holes in your clothes. Oh, well, how does it lubricates? No, thank you. Tell me, is this all of your stuff here? No, there's more stuff in the bag behind me. I rotate the items from time to time, so come back later and I might have new stuff for you. Alright, we'll check back. Maybe another time. Please come back later. Alright, what you got inside? Oh, a new client. Hello, hello! I don't think I've ever seen you before. What are you looking for, exactly? Wait, let me take a look around the shop first. Oh, very sorry. Please take your time. Our store is cheaper than free. You'll pay me to take things? A barrel full of... Mm. I'll help you. The word starts with a P. Er, piss? What? No, this is petrol. Oh. Hey, mister, would you like to taste our country's specialty? Uh, what is it exactly? Just have some, you'll see. Go for it. No, thank you. Oh, come on. Are you sure you don't want to taste our specialty? No, no, another time, okay? Alright, let's look. Oh, this guy's just gonna keep going. Our specialty is all fresh. Come and taste some. How many times should I have to say no? Just say yes so that he'll stop bugging us, Bjorn. Well, you said another time, so I thought maybe you changed your mind. No. Those are giant bicycle wheels? Imported from France. I insist, you should really enjoy our specialty. It's delicious. Alright, alright. If I taste one bite, you'll leave me alone? Sure, no problem. Here, just a spoonful. Say, you're right, it's rather tasty. So, what's your guess? What's in it? Mmm, some fruits from the region? Wrong. This is tarantula sweetened with camel urine. <laughs> well? Gross, disgusting. How can you sell that? You should be ashamed. Ashamed? But you just said so yourself, it's tasty. I did, but... So you're buying some? Over my dead body. You Westerners, so logical. He's got a point. It tasted good. As long as it's not toxic, I don't know. Who are we to judge, Bjorn? Take a good look at our fruits and vegetables. They're all fresh from last week. Hey, didn't you say you'd leave me alone? Oh, sorry, but keep looking. I will, just... I've got some great shoes for you. I noticed your shoes aren't fit for the desert. No, thank you, and will you stop interrupting me? What, am I bothering you? Yes. I don't understand. Yes, you are. I can't decide anything if you keep babbling. But it's a tradition to talk to the clients. Yeah, but I'm trying to look and I don't even know what you have because you keep talking. Do you prefer your gigantic malls with no communication and a gloomy atmosphere? Yes. <laughs> yes! I see, and I'll shut my mouth. Good. For now. Alright, special offer. Buy two for the price of three. Oh my gosh. I offer a 75% discount on all perishable articles from last year. Have a look. What? Why are you suddenly looking at me like this? These are imported from France? Cool, they must be tasty. Good thing I came all the way here. Empty crate. It's like there's a shortage of this fruit. Colorful food. Well, that's definitely colorful. Must be some kind of candy? You're right, the kids love it. Probably shouldn't ask, but what's it made of? I mix the unsold fruits and vegetables, as well as all the rotten ones that fell behind the counter, then I add some sugar. Excellent idea, I hate wasted food. We can buy some for Caroline. Hmm, this drawer is stuck. Go on, keep at it, it's a bit rusty. Mm -hmm. Try harder. Ah, impossible. Indeed, it's fake, just for decoration. Thanks. What? You were making fun of me? That'll teach you to try opening it without permission. Well, at least, that's one less spot for me to look into. Ooh, crowbar. Interesting, there's a crowbar stuck here. Now, if only it'd stop looking at me. Let's figure out some way to distract him and, and steal his crowbar. You want that crowbar? Oops. Or, actually, yes. 
Go ahead, take it. I'm in a great mood, so I'm offering it to you. R really? Really? Awesome. Thank you so much. Hey. Not used to so much sympathy. Usually, everyone asks for something in exchange. Not me. Now, if you could maybe buy something, then I'll think about it. You'll think? I just gave you that. You must buy something. Of course, I promise, but let me take a look first, okay? You're lucky I'm in a good mood. Oh, some grapes? Cool, a bunch of grapes. I love grapes. I'll taste one. Curious to know if it's better than the ones I buy at Walparts. What are you doing? Just eating a grape. You gotta pay for that, you know. <gasps> Takes a cleaver and cuts. <gasps> my hands, my hands, you've got it! I don't accept stealing in my store. But I forgive you. Now with that salt, will you be buying anything? <laughs> now I know what cultural differences means. Alright, we'll, we'll leave the grapes alone. You've come back, great. Please have a look at today's deals, just for today. What's this one back here? Fake drawers are fake. I'm not falling for that again. All right, fishing articles. Ooh, a few nets and some fish food. I'll pass. I'm not good with raising goldfish. We need something to to make our fishing pole with. Ooh, stone dead fish. Say, that fish appears to be deceased. What? Mudcat? No way. It's just resting. Yes, resting in peace. I'd be in trouble if Mudcat died. It's the shop mascot. All the kids come to see it. Looks like he's gonna suffer a big revenue loss then. Some sauce? Maybe mustard? And a box of little hearts? None of this seems useful. What about the middle shelf? Crab. Some milk? A coffee machine? And a pack of crappy cereals? What about the top? Some small suitcases? Maybe I'll buy one later for Sandra. That'd be easier than carrying sacks and cardboard boxes through the airport. Alright, over here. What have we here? Some cleaning products, perfume, and some kind of cheese stuck under the shelf. Yeah, it sure is, huh? Alright, the middle shelf. Here we can find some perfume, powder, and a family picture of faceless people. On that shelf, there are some books without titles. What's the point? Oh, what's this question mark? We can't mess with it. I know better than touching that cack. Ouch! What? I hurt myself without even touching it? Just don't mess with cactuses, Bjorn. Buy two for the price of three. Pure marketing genius. Oh, this is a cookie. That cookie didn't fall in the aquarium, so it must be good. And I think this is another one. Can I have that cookie on the shelf? Well, alright. It's my special gift to you. I hope you enjoy a rotten taste, though. Yep. Alright, let's chit-chat. What would you like? Nothing special. I'm just visiting. No problem. Take your time. So, what you got? How's your business? Pretty good, except for the clients who don't buy anything. I hate them, you know. I spend so much time being friendly, and they don't give anything in return. I guess? Just your average psychopathic merchant. Ah, uh, tell me more. Are you always so annoying? Annoying? Did I do anything that didn't please you? If so, I'm sorry. I'll make sure to give you more information on our quality products. Oh, great. Well, we gotta buy something, Bjorn. Oh, hey. Aha! There's a mysterious hatch here. Something must be hidden behind it. Or not. Hey, stop playing with the floor. It's already damaged plenty. Sorry. We gotta find a way to distract this guy. Hmm. Also, we should probably buy something. Well, how about some of this candy? So that's leftover food mixed with sugar. Awesome! I should suggest it to Western supermarkets. They waste so much food. What happens if we try to leave without buying? Hey, where are you going? I'm leaving, why? You promised to buy something. Another time, okay? That'll teach me to be nice. 
Oh, now I feel kind of bad. All right, and I'm actually going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come on back, and next time, we'll be still got the museum to check out. we got to figure out where Caroline is. we got to get to the sorcerer. we got all kinds of things to do.